Hi everybody, thanks for joining me today. I wanted to share some geology with you that I learned about from Beach 4 out at Olympic National Park. I learned about this uh, from a book called Geology Underfoot in Western Washington and it's by Dave Tucker. If you leave this area up near the parking lot and walk down the trail, you'll come out down here to the beach in just a few minutes. And when you get down here, uh, you're going to see these really interesting rocks and this really cool wooden bridge. And you're going to walk across this when you're right at the beach. And then there's a little bit of a climb to get down and there's a rope there to help you. And there's a picture of the bridge. Here's a pretty view looking to the north and the west. And here's a view looking to the south and the west. I had been to some of the other beaches earlier in the day and this was around 3.30 and it was a very nice low tide. So in the book, um, Dave Tucker explains uh, that these rocks are sedimentary layers of sandstone and mudstone and that they're part of the Olympic subduction complex. And these are all different layers of what they call turbidites uh, that went out into a marine layer. And they were deposited under the ocean. And through the process of plate tectonics, they have been um, pushed and folded and uplifted. And these layers are estimated to be between 23 and 16 million years old. And these layers that you're looking at here uh, were all put down horizontally. And then through the movement of the Earth's plates, um, the layers were deformed and tilted. And then these are later layers that are still horizontal. And when we get to this area that has these uh, little small holes, um, what the book says is that those are the remains of what they call piddock clamps, and they bury into soft rock when it is out farther in the intertidal zone, and as they're growing, they kind of trap themselves in the rock. So it's really interesting. Um, I'm not trained in geology, but I'm really interested by it. And I'm hoping that uh, if you visit the area that you can go out and take a look. Otherwise, um, maybe look up online something about it, or I hope that you can just enjoy these pictures that I'm sharing with you. And it's kind of good to go when the tide's low and then you can walk up and, you know, you can look at all of these closely and touch them and everything. Uh, some of the layers up top, as far as I understand, were added during the last ice age. So I think this is a great activity to visit the beach any time of year. It's a great activity for the winter time. And here's just a few more views from a little bit farther away to show you all the trees that are now growing on top. And the forest goes right up to the beach. So here you can see we're standing on the sandy beach again, looking out to the ocean. And you can see this line of rocks that's heading out.
And here you can see even more of the tilted layers, and you can see how the repeated action of the waves wears them down. So thanks so much for joining me. It's great to have you here. I hope that you have a great week, and I'll see you again soon.